All right, welcome back. Time to enter the other attic. Wait. Huh? Am I? I must have run in circles and <laughs> this is the other attic. <gasps> oh, when I completely forgot last time I wanted to read diary entry three uh, four before I find three. I, I did I changed my mind on that, but now I found three anyway, so let us read the rest in order. Entry hundred seven. Every th single night I wake up bathed in sweat. How could I have been so impudent and foolish to think I could just plunder a crypt without upsetting the peace of the departed souls? All I could think of was, was finding the talisman of life, an ancient relic mentioned in one of the old books I had found. According to this book, the talisman is in an old study somewhere in the depth of the crypt. I was searching every stone of the tombs for secret entrances when this glowing figure came out of the wall, screaming at me in a disturbingly unnatural voice. No matter how hard I try, I can't get this tormented face out of my memories. The apparition stared at me with these black holes where once had been eyes and told me not to continue searching for the talisman of life unless I wanted to raise all the dead around me. The next thing I remember is that I was getting back to the surface, my throat feeling sore from screaming all the way up. Entry 109. I submitted my proposal to the high priests today morning. As expected, they acted rather reluctant and skeptical, but I am quite confident they will reconsider as soon as they get to see the underground hall. It is indeed ideal for a Hamrite church. I have no idea about the original purpose of this large chamber, except for a strange ceiling structure and a gamma symbol engraved in one of the walls. The room is empty. I see. Let me quickly pause reading this here. So what I gather from this is the Hammerite uh, church we saw underground. He built it there after he found something horrible in the crypt. So he probably built it there to, like, for protection, because he believes in the Hammerite stuff. So, kind of like, if you were a cr Christian and you found something that you consider terribly satanic or diabolical or whatever, and you would, like, for peace of mind, you would actually build a church there and consider that protection from it. This, That's kind of like what he did, I guess. But it's particularly interesting that the whole, um, like the whole um, hall where the church now is, was already there. Like, um, he says, I have no idea what the original purpose of this large chamber, but it was already there, so that begs the question, what was the purpose of it? If the priests agree, I shall finally be able to do adequate penance for my sins, and my nightmares shall come to an end. Now on to part 4. Hundred, entry 157. The building of the church is coming along well, and the nightmares have indeed passed. I am trying to forget what has happened, but there are times I feel a strange urge to continue my explorations. I won't ever put a foot into these cursed crypts again. I gave the Hammerite Order allowance to rebuild them for their own needs. The sooner the Builder hallows this godless place, the better. Entry 166. The Builder be praised. We have a son. It is very hard to put my joy into words. I had been worried about Elizabeth because of her recent nightmares, but Robert was born without any complications. Shortly afterwards, my wife told me that she had felt a pair of eyes observing the entire birth was m with much interest. Uh-oh. That can't be good. I am sure it was the blessing gaze of the Builder, a clear sign that Robert will lead a happy and successful life. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Okay, what else is here? There's a carpet. Can I slice it? No. Uh, where's, where's the key for that? Huh. 
blood here. We have another one. So now we're just missing... Sunspark. Hmm. Huh. It has been ages that I played this, I keep saying that. But I vaguely remember that there was some kind of tower or something where you would find one gem. <gasps> That's why I tried to inspect the towers here earlier. These like tower-like structures, but they don't seem to be what I'm vaguely remembering. Also, <coughs> I saw this. What is this? Okay, I just accidentally picked up something. Hmm. What I really wanted to do was uh open this. the hell? Oh wait. Huh. I think that's the kitchen. I think I did put somebody into the fire. But after I extinguished it, of course. No. Can I open this? Okay. This is going to lead us into the room with the creepy noise. This one. This was the one that was the door to this chamber is to remain barred indefinitely. And I think it has been so for quite a while. What the? It looks like the face I saw that scared the shit out of me. Hmm. Library save key? Uh-huh. I was wondering when we find something for that. And what is this? Robert Farrington's notes. I have painted the image I saw in my dream, and now that I look at it, I feel terrified. What is this deformed grimace? Is it even human? It reminds me of one of the relics my father retrieved from the crypt before he went mad. The more I think of it, the more I am convinced that there must be a curse on the name Farrington. I wish my wife was still here. Martha could always lighten my spirits when I was in a dark mood. Her lively soul kept the darkness away. Now that Martha has gone, the strange noises in Elizabeth's bedroom have returned. It is as if my mother cannot find any rest, not even in death. I order the captain to seal off the room. I see, so that's... <clears throat> so the room with the weird noise was Elizabeth's room. The mother of Robert. The wife of Edward. The one who killed herself. And I think we just found a way into that particular room. I have a feeling I know what might be in here. Yes, I... I expected that now, after reading what we read. Still not nice. Wait. Can... Oh, how many secrets are there? This place is very interesting to explore. What is this? Um, it's from Elizabeth. I remember now. I am a descendant of him, and this is why I have been feeling his presence. A century ago, he visited my grand-grand-grandmother and gave her a child in her sleep, a daughter she always thought she had conceived from her husband. He planned to take her daughter away once she would turn 18, but his plans were foiled. 
Now he wants to use me for his evil plans. He has been influencing my husband, and his eyes are focused on my son as well. I even know his name, but I dare not write it down. I try to be strong, to withstand his whispers, but I feel there is only one way I can lift this curse from my family, and this way I am determined to go. I hope one day my husband and my son will understand my actions. Elizabeth. Man, what is going on here? This is getting more epic than I thought or remembered. <sighs> Something about, I want her to see that again, about her, he visited her grand-grand-grandmother and gave her a child, whoever this he is. Can I, um, huh? why can't I, the, This is the tower I remembered. So that's the final gem. I have a feeling it's too hot to take it. I don't want to risk my health. Do I have something to heal myself, by the way? I do have a healing potion because I did lose some health earlier. Might as well take one. And I feel like I probably have to do this. Uh-huh. I knew it. Something there? Yes, me. <laughs> okay. Come back here, <laughs> well then. Now I'm really beginning to wonder if, if um, there is an easy way of turning off the electricity here that I just didn't think of yet. Like, can I maybe just cut this? Okay, I can't. Uh. Maybe if I go to the cellar... There was a room. Uh, what's the quickest way there? Or it could also be real related to the four symbols. Oh. Um, the door is in the wall. Oh. Um, you know that one room where my theory was that it's Robert's study, perhaps? That room has like four things you can somehow interact with. Yeah, I don't see anything to turn off the power here. Unless I'm blind. But maybe the four things you interact with somehow are able to turn off that weird um, power up there. Because the room is close to that, isn't it? It's right over there. Oh, so while we're here, we did find the key for this. Um, there. Hmm. Honored Lord Farrington. As an expert on the history of the Dawn Order, I can say with utmost certainty that the horn you gave me to identify once belonged to Loren, second mage of the Dawn. The mages of this order devoted themselves to finding answers to life's most fundamental questions. They lived underground, totally secluded from the outside world, and studied for many generations. There is not much agreement as to why the order was abandoned, but fact is that the mages decided to seal off all entrances to the order's halls and leave everything behind. It is known, however, that there is still one accessible entrance which is marked by the Dawn Order's symbol, a sun rising from the sea. 
The location of this entrance is shrouded in darkness, but it is said that it can only be opened by the call of Laurent Hoare, the very horn that is in your possession, Lord Farrington. It is a relic of inestimable, uh, inestimable value, and I would be very intrigued to know where you acquired it, if you forgive my inquisitiveness. Humbly yours, Antiqu Antiquary Wayland Smith. Huh? Objective complete. I'm just trying to figure out which one that was. Um. Maybe find information about a mage's order? I'm not completely sure. Okay. Should I already be able to do something with this? What's the order that is written in here? Restoration, conjuration, scrying, necromancy. Um, restoration. So restoration, conjuration, scrying, necromancy. Okay. I thought maybe if I just choose them in the right order. Do I have any kind of book or Anything else that could fit here? Don't think I do. Hmm. No. Well, I guess this is for later. Still wondering about this here. What's the point of this? Isn't that weird? Also this. This totally looks like you could open it. But I don't see how. Or maybe if you do the right thing here, it opens that over there. Huh, that's the other uh, attic thing I opened. So it does bring me back to the question how the hell do I get this? Is there anything I'm missing here? Maybe, uh, it seems like I have to come back later for that. Maybe I'll find something new while I explore the Hamrite church now. That was um, over here. Also kind of creepy to walk down this half, half uh, dark hallway with a weird figure like that. With sculpture. that which is <laughs> kind of funny I mean you scream very loudly I'm gonna put you here a bit risky because it's very light here but I don't think anybody's ever gonna go here also I originally wanted to go that way but then I saw there's a door over here so now, that, now I want to check that out first Unto me. Shit. The builder shall spy thee if I cannot. Okay, maybe I am going the other way first. Didn't see that. 
a bit dark. And now I'm seeing it. Hmm, he already returned. He already returned to his seat. In that case, I will go here first. I will really have to be quiet and careful. Man, it's pretty bright here. Careful, careful, don't make a noise. Don't make any noise. Although, I mean, opening this door is definitely gonna be loud. Oh, it's locked. Can I even open it? I'm gonna try. I can. Oh, damn. Right. Let me go back. Also, are those gold hammers in every bank, seat, whatever? <coughs> but I'm afraid to go and get too close to them. Lest these hammerites would see me. Careful. I guess I could knock them out, but all of them will be pretty difficult. Hath someone come? Come out of the fog and fall. Hmm. There's nothing there now. Okay, <coughs> almost there. <coughs> ah, that's locked Did too. I see that too. <coughs> Be someone there? And the word went before him. Twas just the wind and then. fire. Um, yeah, I will have to load again for that. They would murder me immediately. It was no doubt nothing. <coughs> How am I going to open that? Is it locked? Like, uh, I mean, locked in such a way that I can unlock it? No. keys, but... Hmm. I also have a gas mine. I feel like this might be a good moment for it. Over there! Stand forth and declare thy name! Thou canst not stay in... I will... try that again. Hey, everybody! Party time. Yes. Ow. Lend thy strong arm to mine. Halt. Thou art not friend in this place. Cease thy gains and face me. Was your last warning. Come. Come to me. Are you, are you not going to come? Hello? I shall spy thee and see. Why are you not? Hmm. It's not really, really working the way I thought it would. Nothing to 
attacking now. Still only got one. How is that even possible? Thou art not granted this place. Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. Seize a body. A murder. The steel of vengeance is unsheathed and awake. Hmm. While they're doing all this, let me think some more. I wonder if there's a switch over there to open this. Thou shalt not escape me. Games and face me. But if that's the case, the the on who has done this. how on earth would I would I get there without I shall find thee and crush thee. everybody alarmed? I will <laughs> probably have to rethink my approach here. I would at least like to read this. Due to recent cave-ins in the ancient sections of the crypt, the entrance is to remain closed and locked until further notice. The key is currently in possession of High Priest Reely. In case of urgency, thou canst ask him to open the entrance with thee, but keep in mind what hath occurred to Brother Sorvin. An additional key was given to the late Lord Farrington's death watch. P.S. Brother Sorvin's body will be retrieved as soon as there is no more imminent danger of another collapse. Lord Farrington's death watch. Oh, Who would that I be? See thee, thou shalt not escape. Who goes? Ah! Hm. Hmm, I am not entirely sure what to do now. I mean his death watch? Like, my guess is the priest down there has a key. But how would I even get it? <coughs> I'll have to try again. There has to be a way. I don't think he has a key. Hath someone come? Vigilance is our shield to protect us from our yeah, it was only rats, in truth. Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. Is there a way of going up there? I mean, looks like wood, but it's way too far, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Nothing to see now. I'll try this path once more. Maybe I can actually knock out some more here. <coughs> Especially because there's a door over there. I didn't see that before. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I should try it from this way. Once more. Still a bit. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Hmm. They do turn around sometimes. And this door opens. Hmm. I do wonder what it was. <laughs> Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the There's another door. Man, I should have checked better. With which we carve a path 
to an enlightened future. Let's wait for him to look away. Look away. Both of them. Okay. All right. <sighs> At least some kind of progress. Mm. Oh, there's a big gamma sign that was in there be in there before, probably. And imagine what it must be like to to live here under the earth. Hmm. Journal of Brother Sorvin. Oh no, it's the one who got uh, killed. Or like there must have been a cave-in and he died or something. Day 212. As graduate head engineer of the Hammer, I have been assigned to verify that the recent tremors close to Farrington Church did not cause any dangerous structural damage. Well, as apparently they did. Words cannot describe the awe I felt when I first entered the underground church. It is a marvelous place, an adventurous work of architecture and a great house of the builder. Sadly, it is still in possession of Robert Farrington, and he rebuilt part of the crypt for his own profane entertainment. Oh, Robert. So this is after Edward's time. Journal of Brother Sorvin. I see. I mean, okay, it has to be because... It said that the crypt was sealed off because of the recent cave-in or something. So this must have been not during Edward's, Edward's time, but later. Um, sadly, it is still in possession of Robert Farrington, and he rebuilt part of the crypt for his own profane entertainment. No doubt the builder doth look down on Robert with disapproval for not passing his father's life work to the Hammerite order. We are merely tolerated as guests in this sacred place, and we are only allowed to enter Farrington Church through the east entrance. In my opinion, Robert deserves to feel the hammer of righteousness, but High Priest really is a forgiving person, and he doth believe that the builder himself will eventually carry out proper punishment. Day 216. While the walls of the church seem to be fully intact, I cannot say the same for the crypt. I suspect that the sewers nearby dampen the rock and slowly cause it to disintegrate. I was taken aback to see the, that the Farrington family crypt is situated in this potentially unstable area. High Priest really informed me that the stone coffins had been moved to this cramped place 20 years ago when Robert Farrington had decided to remodel the original family crypt. I cannot help but wonder at this man's motives. <coughs> okay, so wait. One, let me see that read that once more um so the family crypt the family crypt is situated in this unstable area it's really informing that the stone coffins had been moved to this cramped place 20 years ago and it was robert farrington who decided to remodel the original family crypt oh. Day 222. What a discovery. A minor earthquake this morning caused a wall in the crypt to collapse. Behind it, we found a hidden doorway leading to a completely unexplored area. We have tried securing the new section, but the structure is highly unstable. At Brother Drenner's urging, we installed a metal door to prevent anyone from accidentally entering the insecure area. Just before we locked the door, I found scriptures at one of the walls. It seems that a mage lived down there ages ago and that his study has not been entered since his death. I asked High Priest really permission to perform further explorations, but he called me a too curious and impatient child. Day 224. I just woke up from a disturbing dream. I was at the entrance to the unexplored part of the crypt when suddenly a metallic mask appeared. It whispered to me that I had to help finish what had been started many dec decades ago. High Priest really still wants us to stay away from the new section as long as there is imminent danger of another collapse. I know he does not share my excitement about this discovery, but I cannot wait any longer. I must see what is down there tonight. Yeah, and then it apparently killed you. Damn. Forgot about that. Shit. Okay, now we're up here. I shall spy thee ere long, thief. And I should probably hide.
<laughs> Another door. Is that the Death Watch? Oh, I think it is. Entry 147. Brother Sorbin again insisted on exploring the newly discovered part of the crypt below. Or, 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 or maybe it's High Priest, really. I rejected his plea, but I doubt he will let this matter rest. He is too curious and disobedient for his own good. The Builder shall punish him soon. Entry 148. This place was never meant to be a house of the Builder. A constant feeling of anxiousness robs my sleep, although my brethren do not seem to sense the evil and close in the walls around us. Doubt is gnawing at the foundation of my beliefs. Doubt about the principles of the hammer itself. Is it not a tool whose handle is made of wood? How can we allow product of the trickster's followers to befoul our most sanctified symbols? I do not think that holy water is supposed to flow in these cursed halls. Thus, I went into the sewers and switched the fountains to normal water. Hmm. Brother Sorvin is dead. His curiosity drove him into the crypts, and a sudden tremor made him fall to his death. He was a fool, and he left this world as a fool. I am now keeping the key to the crypts in my quarters. Not for very much longer. Brother, it's time to oil thy gears and sign to our group of pioneers. See the glory of our scheme. Join us, join the builder's team. I want thee for the builder's team. <laughs> oh. I think High Priest Riley, or Riley, or whatever, was beginning to have doubts about the hammerite stuff and was secretly starting to be into mechanist stuff. Because remember, the, the explanation of this fan mission said that this story is supposed to take place between Thief 1 and 2. So before the mechanists had their huge rise and fall. Holy water. Dear friend really, Riley... Oh. I knew it. It's from Father Karras himself. Dear friend Riley, the builder himself is indeed pleased with thy decision to join the newly founded mechanist order and to spread the word amongst thy brethren. We are still a small group of progressive individuals, but our organization is growing rapidly. As for thy question about my motives to establish a new order, while I do not claim that the Hammerite order is wrong in all its guidelines, I had come to realize that some of its principles are awfully contradictory. The finest metal gear is of questionable use when it is turning in a case of wood. From what thou hast written in thy last letter, I see that thou didst recognize such inconsistencies as well. Again, let me welcome thee as a new member of the Mechanist Order. As soon as thou hast completed thy remaining tasks here, thou canst at last put down thine old hammerite robe and get back on the true path of the Builder, Father Karras. With this letter I send thee seven announcement scrolls that thou canst use to raise awareness of our order in the streets of the city. <laughs> so that's like posters he is supposed to secretly put all up all over the city. That's funny. Anyway, we have the crypt key now. I'm gonna close this. I'm not gonna be an ass. Because I'm sure if it's f like brethren will find that they would not be happy. Let's let him keep his secret. Also, I do remember this. <laughs> and look at the design, it has like hammerite uh, levers. Okay. That's why I saved, by the way. Because, yeah, I do remember what this does from playing it for the first time. I wonder if the rope arrow thing is important at some point, because you can definitely shoot a rope arrow up there. I think I remember something about that, but it's very foggy. And now comes the difficult task of going back without being seen. Vigilant 
is our shield that protects us from the squalid task. Mm. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened Is it possible future. to knock them out? Mm. There's nothing there now. If he looks away... Come on, turn around. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, you turn around. Your teeth. You mm. ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. Uh, so nay. Shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone mm. or flesh? I'm pretty sure it's possible if I just wait long enough. I might just cut for it, so you don't have to watch this. He did turn the other way earlier. That protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon. Didst thou see that too? Which we carve a path to an enlightened future. It seems nothing now. They both turned the other way earlier. I just want them to do that again. Yes. Vigilance is our shield. Shit, now he's that not turning. Us from the squalid past. Come on. Knowledge is our weapon <sighs> with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna carve a path in your face. <coughs> Didst thou seek well, <laughs> see this villain? <laughs> I mean, I could at least knock him out. It's definitely possible. Vigilance is our shield. That protects us from the squalid But this guy is gonna see it if he doesn't turn away. With which we carve a path to an enlightened You're future. annoying. I love to throw this to him. Forget it. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, you wail and gnash your teeth. You ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. Thinkest thou to make talk of me? Show, thy, show thyself. Thou shalt not thy trickery escape. shall not last. Think Who not that thou shalt vanish us. now. I see thee there, thy trail of semen. Okay, I got too greedy. I was just really curious if those are made of gold and I can take them. Those. Hammers there. But they are not. Or I mean, they look like they're made of gold, but I cannot take them. Right. I'm excited. Even though I'm not saying anything right now, but I'm just trying to concentrate not to fuck this up. But I am actually very excited because now we can enter this ominous crypt that we have been reading so much about. Oh man, the music is already getting creepy. That's going to be something for next time. See you then. Goodbye.